Well, hello, Gabers. My name is Joseph, and it is time for my Season of the Redacted prep video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off by looking at our Seasonal Challenges tab, as you do. Um, this is everything I did. I pretty much did everything apart from this guy here, and then I'm not going to play that much Gambit, and then the... Um, complete any Nightfall Strike on Grandmaster. I just didn't play the game enough this season in order to uh, get to that level. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at our Titan. This is... I'm actually pretty satisfied with how he looks. Not gonna lie. Um, I personally like it a lot. The uh, Solstice gear this year was really nice. Um, and Transmog has actually been super cool for uh, Guardian's fashion. I'm pretty sure my Titan is the only one that I like how he looks, though. I think my Warlock looks pretty decent also, but I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I only managed to get to 1338. I did get 1320 base on my Titan, at least. I did not get 1320 base on any of my other characters. I think my Warlock was the closest. Um, but like I said before, I just didn't play the game enough this season. Like, I, I don't think I completed that many Vault of Glass runs. Um, let's see. I don't know what it's under. Um, I don't think I completed that many, though. I'm pretty sure I only did, like, five or six. Um... Maybe maybe ten. I can't remember honestly, but um, yeah, I don't I don't think I really did that many Vault of Glass runs, so there wasn't really a chance for me to get to thirteen twenty for my other characters. And plus, I was just playing other games. Um, and that'll go or that'll take us right into our next segment of what did I think about this season? Now, I have several gripes with this season. Um, but it's like the same general things that I feel like everyone has with any new season of Destiny. And that there tends to be just like a lack of content as far as like being able to grind the game throughout the week. Um, which I know there is some stuff that I just didn't do like the Grandmasters and stuff like that. But I mean it was just another season of a of an activity where you dump moats and then do a mission and then there's some story and then you rinse and repeat the next week. Um, which was okay. Like obviously, um, override was a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's probably like the best. Well, I guess there's only been two six player match made activities, huh? Um, it was definitely a lot better than the, what was it? I think it was season of the chosen. Um, it was definitely a lot better than that because there's no matchmaking in that. Um, but still it was just the same thing over and over and over again. So, um, yeah, but, uh, what was I going to say? Can't remember what I was going to say. Anyways, let's talk about the guns that I got. Um, this is pretty much the exact setup I was running for the entirety of the season. Pretty much. Um, it sucks that this isn't going to be as useful next season and neither is that apparently. Um, I'm sure it'll still be really fucking strong. Um, I just don't think it's going to be at the levels it is right now because of Breach and Clear being gone. And also they're nerfing it a little bit. Um, but they are buffing the Vex. I never got one. Um, I got several Vision of Confluences, a lot of corrective measures. And then uh, the only reason I have a lot of Fatebringer... I think I have like another 7 in my vault. And the only reason I have so many is because I just kept on trying to re-roll it. But this was unfortunately the best roll that I could get on it um, this one's pretty good here too the kill clip and rewind rounds it's not terrible it'd probably be a lot better for PvP if I'm being completely honest um, I just don't really play PvP that much except for completing that one seasonal challenge um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the Titan I just realized that I have the wrong mods on this right now um, but that's fine because I haven't really been playing this game like I said um, that's pretty much it for my Titan. I ran the same Sparrow and same ship all season. Um, I did get this one, obviously. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about earlier. Um, I think the only seal I managed to get this season, obviously, was Splicer. I did not make any progress, basically, towards the Vault of Glass one. As you can see, I'm at 9 out of 23. And then, as far as all the other ones, I made some progress towards this one here but like i said i didn't want to play more gambit um and i certainly didn't want to play enough to get gilded dredge and maybe i'll attempt that again if some by some miracle gambit is just better next season um and i think i barely touched trials i, I think i did it for that one week where it was a seasonal challenge to win rounds 
Um, but that was that was it for trials for me this season. I did not touch it after that. I've been playing too much Call of Duty. Yeah. All right, let's uh, move on to the uh, Hunter. Okay, I'm on the Hunter now, and G Willikers does my Hunter look flamboyant. Um, I did not realize that I have not changed my Hunter's fashion. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's see what he looked like before all the... Okay, this is what my Hunter looked like pretty much from the start of the season, but like I said, I have not touched my Hunter at all until... Um, what's it called? Solstice of Heroes came around. I just did not touch my Hunter. Um, like, I think I did... Our first Vault of Glass completion, I'm pretty sure, was on my Hunter because we couldn't do it day one and I didn't want to, like, get rid of my checkpoint. Um, so I switched to my Hunter and finished it on that. Or did did it on that and then finished it on my Titan later on. Um, but yeah, this is this is my Hunter. Not much to be said about my Hunter. Um, I, I'm not a Hunter main at all. I'm a Titan main, so... I didn't really touch him that much. Um, I did play a lot of Warlock, surprisingly, this season. Not enough to get to 1320 base, but I did play a lot of Warlock this season. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at him now. Alrighty, on to the Warlock. I'm actually... I keep on forgetting how satisfied I actually am with how my Warlock looks. God, he looks good. I love I love the Vault of Glass um, Warlock armor. It's been like my favorite armor in the game and I don't even play Warlock that much. I, I mainly play Titan like I said. But this chest piece and that helmet, this helmet is like the best looking helmet that they have ever created in Destiny in my opinion. It just looks so good. And like they they really nailed it with the um the uh colors this this year on Vault of Glass gear. Just that bright like bronze color looks really good. Um, but I'm a, like, I'm obsessed with this, I think this is Warbrick or Bloody Tooth, I can't remember, I was just looking at it, yeah, Warbrick, this is like the best looking shader, I think, in the game, currently, because there's no, there's no just like black and white shaders like there was in uh, Destiny 1, um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it, uh, this is the kind of gear I rocked whenever I played Crucible, because um, I hate everyone who plays Crucible, and this is what I want to use against them. Um, but I'm looking forward to next season. Hopefully um, they can keep us busy until the Witch Queen comes out with that season. or Because um, I know we have events coming up. But we have an event that lasts like a few weeks in October. And then we have another event usually that lasts a few weeks in December. So I don't know how they're really going to fill um, the space in between. Obviously we're going to have a lot of Iron Banner. But I, I mean, we're not going to have faction rallies anymore. Like that's that's a guaranteed thing that's never going to happen. Because all the factions are either, either dead or gone. So yeah. Um, but yeah I'm looking forward to next season. And I'm looking forward to Witch Queen. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.